Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Snoop Dogg Hall of Fame. So Snoop is the weekend character for boss battle. Looks to be fairly obtainable, 1200 shard recruit. Uh, have to see how it plays out. Um, he is a technician for Hall of Fame. So he's Hall of Fame. He is um, defensive technician. He does have two gears. This preview is going to be my... Um, non-whale um, basic preview with no gears. Um, I will do another one using um, the gears and more rare trainers and stuff. So um, this is going to be a no gears preview. He is a coach at um, 21k. Red and blue gems do 20% more damage. Very good coach. Uh, Lacey Evans style coach for red and blue gems. That'll help a ton of people. So I'm a big fan of that. Gonna have three move sets for you guys. Uh, strap we're using. Um, you can see 12 on the Fury, 15 on the green move damage metal. Um, and then all heart skill plate will help uh, two of the builds, not this first one. So there's that. Um, so the first one, this is the five star move set. Uh, in particular, the spear is the five star. Snoop spear, six MP green, deal seventy six k damage, and choose a three by two area to swap into black gems. Drop it like it's hot. Three MP black, deal sixty four k damage. Choose one road to destroy, and the dog father drop eight MP black, deal one hundred and one k, and make the bottom row into pyro gems. All gems above it are going to be modified into green when broken by you. So we're going to stack that green gem damage. Um, we have steel to get started with the green. Uh, Booker T, Lacey, and then um, Hogan for any color gem. So that's the setup for this one. Uh, let's get out here and run it against Orton. Of course, the first gear adds 2 MP, and the second gear adds 100% green gem damage. Um... In particular, the second, having two gears would benefit um, this build a lot. But no big deal. This in feud is going to start turn one with this move. Going to throw some black gems out here. And then the whole bottom row is going to get made into pyro. The nice thing about this build is it's pretty fast. Because uh, you're not choosing the bottom row, it does it automatically, and then you're just clicking the bottom row to blow it all up. Should probably deal about 1.2 mil-ish, maybe a little more. Little baby cascade and 1.24 mil. So there you go. There's that move set. Pretty straightforward. Cheap shot, if you have it, I think would be quite good. Uh, shock the system to help with potential kickout, and uh, after those green gems go down uh, from the skill plate part picker. All right, let's check out double green. And we're going to put the Hustle Buster in. The Bull D-O-double-G. And the Hollywood Bank Robbery. So the Hustle Buster is 10 MP green finisher. You're going to deal 187k damage. Choose 10 gems to destroy. Uh, the Bull Dio Double G, 7 MP green, deal 89k damage, increase the strength of your multi-gems by 3. And the Hollywood Bank Robbery, uh, it's a sub, 7 MP yellow, place 8 submission gems, do 117k damage for 3 turns. Remaining submission gems turn into multiplied gems of strength 3. Um, this one also, uh, in feud... The sub with the setup I'm running without any sub trainers and stuff should do 2.6 million. Uh, and we're going to start with that turn one. And that'll do 2.6 million in feud. Also, the finisher gets a 60% boost in feud. And the multiply gems get uh, X2. So they're going to go from 3 to 5 and then 8 with the bulldog there. 
Um, you do, without the gear, need two yellow uh, MP trainers. So uh, without the gear, we'll be missing this one slot. We do have the um, All Heart skill plate that's going to make green gems do 100% more after the sub. So And purple, actually. We're going to keep Lacey on for green gem damage and also Hogan for any color since we're um, buffing green and purple. And we can do some stuff after the sub. So let's run this one. Obviously the gear would help this move set a lot. You could take Kofi off uh, and then use this uh, sub um, coach in AJ for three more turns, or um, you could buff multiply gems, a lot you could do. Um, you could also use like Memrock if you have him and things like that at a coach slot for this. So the sub is going to start charge turn one. You can see 18k per green, 14 per purple before the all heart skill plate. Um, the sub is also a choose green. So you're going to choose two three matches, or in this case, we're going to take a four here and a three here. And then um, we're going to look to keep as many gems alive as we can. We're changing them green, so keep that in mind. You might hear Dexter in the background. And we're for this last one. I don't love any of these spots particularly much. Yes, we're going to go here. Could also put General's Orders on for this one from the Skill Plate Park Picker or any of the other ones that let you um, get yellow F of 3 match because you're going to choose to destroy just in case there's not enough yellow to recycle the sub. Alright, pretty good looking board though for us. So you can see greens are now 30k, purples 22k, and it, let's buff these multis. Keep in mind in feud you get another uh, times two on these. So 181k per green multiply. So not bad. So we want to destroy the, all the multis and a bunch of green and purples. Um, also yellow to refill if we needed it. So let's just go ahead, just drop those there, I guess. And, you know, I don't actually love that. Let's keep the multi, we're gonna drop this screen. Like so. Let's get that purple. Let's just do that. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. 1.5 million, and that would be after a 2.6 million sub. Um, so. You're looking at, oops, not 2.6, I'm sorry. Missed about, the sub should be 2.1 million, I'm sorry. So 2.1 and 1.5. Likely that's going to keep people down pretty well, and uh, you're going to get some more buff and feud from that, split the times two. So you're probably looking at, you know, 4 to 5 million total, somewhere in there. Last move set. Um, this is probably the one I like the best for Feud. Um, we are only changing out... Going double... We're going to go double yellow here. Gems and Juice we're bringing in. That's a 3 MP yellow. It's going to deal 62k damage and deal 221,000 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. And Feud, if you have defensive perks, that's 440k. So you're going to get a total of 880k extra damage out of the gems and juice. 
Entourage, you can see here we are going to run uh, with the sub setup. So we're going to put Shelton and Drew in. This is going to make our sub a lot bigger. And this would definitely be the way I would run him. No gears. Um, so let's see. Uh, pop this in here. Now it's a 3 million damage uh, sub with a 880k bleed. So we're at 3.8 million damage uh, right out the gate. And then we're going to hit the hustle buster after the 3.8 million. This should be a full drain on pretty much everyone. And of course with the all hard skill play, the finisher should hit nicely. Okay, the green are clustered up, which doesn't really do us a lot of favors. Let's get rid of this one. This here. Hi, Dexter. You may hear Dex. Boy. I don't love this setup either. Oh. Now we'll just see what happens here. I don't like making a five match particularly much either, but... Ah. Man, I lost three of them. Oh well. So definitely not ideal, but do keep in mind these would be X5 in feud, so there, there's that. And 866k after 3.8 we've got like 4.6 million that would hit harder in feud so again um really good build set i left a bunch of multiplied gems on the off the table there um because they broke a couple of them too so that's the move set i would run for him for feud with no gears um gonna do a lot of damage really solid and you could use General's Orders just to help recycle the yellow if you're for some reason worried about it or if a bunch of your multis get, get destroyed. Um, so there's that. Uh, All Heart definitely makes this a lot better uh, without Gears. Just puts a little more oomph on the finisher, but it's not necessarily needed. You could probably also use Rhonda's Jacket as well, um, and that would be fine too. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you're looking for the... The Gears video will be doing that as well. Uh, Snoop seems like a really solid Hall of Famer, and uh, he's a great coach. So uh, if he is fairly obtainable this weekend like it looks, that would be pretty cool and be a nice addition to anyone's roster. So uh, thanks again for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. And uh, good luck out there, guys.